Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because we are gonna be reviewing some hairstyling products. I mentioned on my Instagram story as well as my YouTube story that I was gonna be reviewing the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk styling products. So before we jump into the video, I would love for you guys to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe down below as always if you have not already. And you can also come join me on Instagram and Twitter if you wanna be more a part of this community that we are creating. Let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So I have the three main like curl stylers here. I didn't purchase the like foam. It's like a light foam, I think, because I don't really consider it like a first day styler. It's more of like a refresher and it's just not the type of product that I would use that often anyways. So I just wanted to get the three main stylers. I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. This is what the packaging looks like. Then I have the Defining Cream and this one comes in like a tube style. I really love the packaging on all of these. It's super cute and very cohesive. And then we have the Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. And this is just kind of like a milky clear gel. This is a number three on the scale from one to five as far as like how strong hold it is. It says flexible firm hold. And then the mousse is a number two on the scale, but I would honestly consider this more of a three or a four. I feel like it's a little bit stronger hold than they say, but still nothing too intense where you feel like your hair is sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the demos over the last three days that I shot of me styling my hair with these products and how it turned out, the results basically. And then I'm gonna come back on here and I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts, kind of like my first impressions, what I think of these products and what my experience was with them. So we're just gonna go ahead right now and jump into those clips. Okay, so I'm starting off with clean, wet hair. My hair isn't like sopping wet. I did squeeze out the excess water with the t-shirt. So this is what we are left with. And I don't have any additional product in my hair. I decided that while I test these out, I'm just gonna use the styler itself. Just use shampoo, conditioner, and then get out of the shower and use the styler just so that you guys can see what it looks like on its own. And also this way, you guys will be able to see exactly what it looks like without the influence of anything else. So we're gonna do the defining cream today i just feel like this is a good in between basic kind of product that i feel like everyone loves let's see i'm gonna start out with a decently small amount i don't want to use too much at first maybe about that much it has a nice light smell not strong at all this is a nice consistency i was kind of expecting it to be a little bit thicker than this um but it's definitely not as thick as like my verb curl cream so i really like this consistency i'm just gonna spread it like all over my hands and just like warm it up and then i'm gonna go straight in and just scrunch it into my hair just to get like the bulk of the product off my hands then maybe i'll smooth over it a little bit and scrunch again I'm just doing like a very quick, easy styling routine here. I'm not trying to like get clumpy waves or like take a super long time because I'm just trying to see like what the product looks like on its own. I'm gonna flip my head upside down now so I'm probably gonna be out of frame. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I just scrunched it in like I would a normal curl cream and I will be back to show you guys the results when my hair is dry. Okay, so I'm back. I think my hair is pretty much completely dry. I'm actually going to use just a drop of this argan oil to scrunch out any cast that's on my hair. I just feel like this helps with frizz rather than just scrunching my hair when it's dry with dry hands. So I'm just gonna literally do, like I said, like a drop of this and I'm just gonna rub this between my hands and just scrunch out, like I said, any cast that's on my hair. This can sometimes take a minute, so I just scrunch until I feel like there's no more stiffness in my hair and it's all soft. And then I might just like shake my roots out just a little bit, because I always like to do this to add some extra volume. I just take my hands in and just kind of like shake at the root. All right, and this is where we are at for day one with the curl cream. I like how it turned out. I feel like my waves look nice and bouncy and voluminous, but it doesn't feel like I have tons of product in my hair or anything. So pray for me since I'm washing my hair every day for three days in a row for this, which is not something that I usually do. Okay, and I'll be back tomorrow to try out the next styler. All right, so here we are, it's day two, and my hair is even more wet this time than it was last time. We're gonna be using the Curl Activating Mousse today, and honestly, this might work a little bit better with really wet hair, I don't know, but I guess we're gonna see. So I'm gonna just shake it up. 
And this does say soft touchable hold. It says it's a number two on the scale from one to five with like how strong the hold is. So I'm gonna start by using about that much. That's kind of a lot, but it's mousse, so it always looks like you're using a ton. This one smells really good. It smells like the cream, but just a little bit stronger, I guess. I'm just gonna smooth this over my hair. And I'm gonna scrunch it in. My hair is actually pretty wet right now. I thought I squeezed out enough excess, but I guess there was just a lot of water in my hair. Okay, I probably wouldn't need to do any more, but I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more, like that much. Just since my hair is so wet right now, I feel like it can kind of handle more. All right guys, so here we are. Um, I think I'm actually gonna grab my silk scarf and then maybe just even scrunch a little bit with this, so. This was really gentle on the hair and it'll take out some of the excess water and product. This is what my hair is looking like and I will be back when it is dry to show you guys my results. Okay, so my hair is completely dry at this point and I just wanna note a few things. Hopefully you guys can see what my hair looks like right now. I feel like usually when um, my hair is completely dry and I have this sort of cast for my product, my hair doesn't look this curly yet. Like I feel like usually it's a little bit more flat until I scrunch it out and then it starts to look really bouncy and wavy. But right now I just feel like my hair has more definition and more clumps I feel like than it usually does. But I also feel like it's pretty shiny. Like the cast is pretty shiny. So anyways, I'm not gonna ramble but I am just gonna take that same argan oil that I used yesterday and I'm just gonna do like one drop again, just a teeny little bit, a bit over my hands and then scrunch out that crunch. It's kind of acting the way a gel would, like creating that harder cast. And then I am just gonna do the same thing I did yesterday where I just kind of shake out the roots a little bit. Cause I feel like the cast got a little bit closer to my roots than it sometimes does. Okay guys, so this is what we're left with today. Flip it over and show you guys how it looks with like the different parts. Honestly, you guys, I'm really liking how my hair turned out today. I was afraid my hair was gonna be a little bit sticky, but honestly, it feels really soft and I feel like my hair looks shiny without being like crunchy or sticky. And I would recommend to use a mousse the same way you would use a gel, kind of like when your hair is a little bit more wet. So yeah, we will be back tomorrow to try out the gel, which is our last styling product. Okay guys, so here we are, it's day three. We're using our last product. This is the Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel, and it is on a number three from the one to five scale. It says flexible, firm, hold for all curl types. Um, I'm gonna start out with maybe about that much. Hopefully you guys can see how much I have there. This feels like a nice lightweight gel compared to like my Cantu one that I've talked about. So smooth it over the hair. And then I'm gonna turn my head and just Scrunch the product in. That was definitely enough product, I think. So I feel like a little of the gel goes a long way, but it also doesn't feel too thick or too intense or like it's gonna be super strong hold, which is nice because I don't want it to be too intense, I guess. Put my head over like I always do. All right, so I guess we're gonna leave it at this and I'm just gonna let my hair dry and then I'll come back and scrunch it on camera as usual. Okay guys, I am back and I'm gonna take my Argan oil as usual, just one little pump, and scrunch out any crunch or cast that I have. So this is what we're left with, and I feel like this is kind of like a nice little beachy wave. Let me know, obviously, down in the comments, like which of these turned out the best in your eyes or which one is your favorite. I would love to hear like your thoughts, which one you think looks the best based on what you've seen. All right, we are back. And I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. Obviously, this is a first impressions type of video, so I wanna use these products more and try them out more and like tell you like my in-depth reviews maybe down the road. So the first product that we tried out is the Defining Cream. And I did say I really liked this. I like the texture of it. I feel like it's a nice consistency. It's kind of like a moussey, puddingy type consistency, if that makes any sense. But it's also not heavy or thick. It's lighter than the Verb Curl Cream that I've talked about. So I definitely enjoyed this. I feel like it's a really easy, simple go-to product if you love a good styling cream. Personally, I really love a good curl cream. It's like my go-to type of product 
for like an everyday or regular basis. So I do recommend this. I feel like it's a great, great curl cream. The next product that we tried is the Curl Activating Mousse. I have to tell you guys, I wasn't sure how much I was actually gonna like this because I saw a lot of the reviews said that it was like a sticky, thick, heavy product and I just didn't really think I was gonna end up liking it, but I actually was pleasantly surprised by this and I really did enjoy it. I have to mention again, I did apply this one on very wet hair and the other two, my hair was a little bit more damp, so that could also affect the way the product worked, but I would say to apply a mousse with more wet hair because I feel like it just works that way. It's gonna keep your hair from feeling sticky then when you when it dries, but I will say that this didn't weigh down my hair, but gave me a little bit less volume than the other two products. I feel like it's gonna also depend on how you style your hair, like I said, but it's a little bit more defining versus giving you a lot of volume, if that makes sense. And the last product that we tried out that I actually have in my hair today is the sculpting gel, the frizz control sculpting gel. And like I said, this is a number three on the scale, but I really feel like this is the perfect like texture and hold for me personally. Um, I wanted something a little bit lighter than my Cantu gel that I've talked about. It's more like a white, thick, creamy gel if that makes sense and it has really strong hold and i just wanted something to kind of replace my diva curl light defining gel that i've talked to you guys on my channel about before i don't have any other products from diva curl that's the only one i own but i just haven't really been using it um, especially on my channel i don't feel comfortable like recommending that to you guys because there's a lot of stuff i don't even know about that i haven't like researched it too much i just don't really use that product anymore and i just feel like this is the perfect in between texture so i Definitely recommend this gel if you're looking for a good one. I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but these stylers were all $7.99, I believe. So super, super affordable. And I believe they are actually Curly Girl approved or Curly Girl friendly, even though personally I don't like follow the Curly Girl method really. I just kind of do my own thing and I follow some of the rules. They're sulfate and silicone free as far as I can tell. And yeah, I, I really did enjoy all of these to be honest, you guys. It just really depends on the type of product that you want. They're so affordable and just great products to find at the drugstore. So I actually purchased mine on Ulta.com, but I believe you can get these at like Target or Walmart as well. Like I said, it really just does depend on what type of product you want for your hair. For me personally, I feel like the defining cream is probably what I'm gonna reach for the most because this is more the type of product that I use in my hair on a regular basis. Like I said, I just really love a good styling cream. But anyways, I don't wanna keep on rambling on. I just wanted to kind of condense my thoughts and give them to you guys right here, let you know what I think. Let me know if you guys want me to do an update on like Instagram or a future video. Definitely be sure to come join me over on Instagram because I am starting to like be more engaging on there and like post more stuff on my stories and even just like post more pictures in general. So I really appreciate all of you guys who have come and followed me over there. I just love this community that we're creating. So like I said, I'm not gonna ramble anymore, but I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you have not yet. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. I got something on this package. It looks like lipstick or foundation. Okay, so I have it. So I did squeeze a little. Just one more. Oh, my. Seems like there was a lot of hair coming from my scalp this time. Or, I know the lighting is weird. Maybe I should turn my ring light on. And maybe. Oops. Went out of focus.